we should also probably mention that with when lockdown comes along, it's not just about making sure your system's hardened, but we also provide the auditing part of it as well. So uh, the last couple of years, I think probably two and a half years ago, George, we started doing not just a remediation through Ansible and making sure that it's hardened, but providing a, an automation way of making sure that Ansible's doing what we want it to do and you'll get the results you want. Just built in using a very small tool called GOSS. And that again is in a separate repo, normally finishing off with a hyphen audit. So you'll find rel 9 cis hyphen audit, rel 9 stig hyphen audit. Um, and that will be the content we run from there. Using very similar languages as Ansible. So you're trying to keep continuity of what you guys are doing. And again, highly configurable. So that's all part of the Ansible Lockdown Enterprise subscriptions. It's all available to the community. Um, and obviously we're working hard with all the people out there to try and make sure we make this bigger and better all the time. And then those audits are also linked with the, the, the relevant hardening baseline. So when you run a hardening baseline uh, with a simple variable toggle, you can have those audits do a, a pre-scan and a post-scan for running the remediation. So you can see how out of compliance you were and how in compliance you are afterwards. And it generates a report in a, in a couple of different formats. Generally, it's JSON is, is what most folks use. Um, and the, it, it's it's a very quick scan, so it's not real. It's not really very intrusive for for your time when you're trying to harden really quick. Um, you know, generally a full system audit for an OS is around a minute. Um, so it's it is kind of a nice little feature. And if you do run it from the remediation uh, Ansible roles, all of the variables that you set and adjust within that Ansible role also apply to. Um, the auditing side. So there, there's no, have, you don't have to maintain two sets of configurations. You just configure what you need for your remediation and the audit side will, will pick that up within uh, the remediation playbook. So um, did I miss anything there, Mark? I, I, no, I think the only thing I would probably point out is that you may find if you looked at the audit properly, then a baseline may have 200 uh, controls when you try and run, and yet the audit is still running 500 checks. Um, one of the things we try to do is not only just adhere to the baseline with configuration, but to make sure the running configuration is correct. So it's great having the configuration files saying, yep, it's all configured the way it should be, but uh, if it's been changed after this has been booted and it's not been reapplied to a running system, then you can have the config correct, but it is running something completely different. So that's one of the things we've really tried to push through and make sure Again, that's extensible and uh, as possible, the audit to make sure it's not as brittle. So if you're looking for quotes or not quotes, it would find both. Um, those sort of, where well, you can have, configure one way, someone else can figure a different way, but both ways will pass rather than just being, it has to be precise and exact. So I think that's one of the big things we've done. Um, that's helped us out definitely developing the remediation, just to see who's watching the watchman. 